Hey, I know it's been a while. Um, I was kind of visiting my family and doing some vacation stuff, but I finally got a chance to get back to my uh, my apartment and start working on uh, on the tricopter again. Um, this is pretty much where I got today. In the last video, I uh, I showed you guys the uh, tail casing. Uh, I tried to paint it, but the the paint wasn't sticking very well. Uh, basically, I put uh, Minwax on the uh, uh, Minwax polycrylic on the uh, on the plywood, and then for some reason the paint wouldn't stick to that. So I basically pulled all the paint back off, and I'm just going to leave it plain wood for now. Um, I may come back later and hit it with like some spray on uh, some spray on paint, uh, probably like from a rattle can, something like that. Uh, one of the solvent-based paints I think will work better. Um, now I had plugged the end of these with dowels. Here's an example of of what I did. I just took a standard uh, dowel from Home Depot and then sanded it down. And these are embedded about two inches in, into both ends of the T-Rex tail booms. And uh, let's see. What I did to mount the tail case was basically I laid the whole thing down to make sure it was all flat and true. I, I built the core first. And the core is just two sheets of 1 8 ply with, uh, with uh, hex bolts going through. All right. So I built the core, attached the tail boom, and then I laid the core flat on the table. And then I was able to use that to uh, make sure that, that the uh, tail case was attached straight and true. And then I, uh, I drilled through the tail case uh, and the uh, boom with a, uh, a drill press. Uh, basically clamped it in position and then just drilled through the whole thing and then checked it again to make sure it was true before tightening everything down. Now these front these front arms uh, basically they are pivoting on this screw right here, this, this front screw that you can see right there. They're pivoting on that screw and then there is another screw inside of there that goes into a block of wood and then I've got bolts, uh, blind nuts, uh, not blind nuts, but I've got uh, nuts epoxied into, uh, into some little countersunk holes that were drilled into the wood. Um, basically these, these, uh, these metal 440 bolts, um, I'm sorry, number four machine screws are gonna be removed and replaced with nylon screws so that if the, uh, if the tricopter does go in, it will, uh, oops. If the tricopter does go in, it'll um, hopefully those nylon bolts will break instead of the booms bending the booms. Um, if the booms do get messed up, uh, you know it probably takes about an hour to fab fab a new boom, so it's not too bad. Um, you know my biggest concern right now is just breaking the core. Uh, right now I've got a top and a bottom plate, and I'm going to build another platform on top to mount my uh, radio gear. Uh, right now the balance point is just behind the true center of the of the device uh, of the tricopter. Um, let's see, true center would probably be right here in the middle of these three bolts and then the center of gravity right now is right there. Of course that's going to go back some more when I put the servo and the motor on but of course that'll be balanced by motors on each end at the front and then um, I'll probably mount the radio gear as far forward as I can so that when it comes time to mount a battery I can put the battery right at the center of gravity and um, and the center of the device so that I can use several different size batteries without really messing up the thing. Now I plan on having the radio gear stacked on top and the ESC's mounted uh, either on top or underneath I'm not sure yet I don't know if I need to keep the ESC's away from the gyros I'd like to keep the ESCs away from the gyros as much as I can. So what I may do is put the put the uh, ESCs in the bottom, and then put the radio gear on the top, and then build another plate on top of that to to house the uh, the battery. So basically, there will be uh, another plate on the bottom, uh, probably one sixteenth plate on the bottom um, to cover up the gyros, and then there's going to be probably another 1 16th plate on top to uh, to sa uh, safely mount the battery to it. Um, that's pretty much all I can think of right now, but you know, I just wanted to shoot this quick video and show you guys kind of where the, where the tricopter was standing. Thanks for tuning in.